Hi, in this video, we are going to learn converting fractions to decimals. At the end of this lesson, the learner should be able to accurately convert fraction to decimal by changing it into equivalent fraction of denominator 10, 100, 1000, and so on. And accurately convert fraction to decimal by long division method. Rational number. When we say rational number, it is a number that can be written in ratio or fraction form, A over B. So we have the numerator and the denominator, where A and B are integers and B should not be equal to 0. So ano mayayari pag 0 ang B? Of course, any number, pag ang denominator ay um, 0, then that number is undefined, meaning that number does not exist. So, examples ng rational numbers are 2 over 5 or 2 fifth, 1 over 10 or 1 tenth, 5 over 27. So, we are already familiar with this. I believe um, these are very uh, common in elementary lessons. So, sa elementary, meron ng ganito, di ba? So, these are commonly um, referred to as fractions. Okay? So, rational number. So, ang decimals naman, it is a way of writing numbers where each digit after a decimal point corresponds to a place value equivalent to a negative power of 10. So, example, 231.015. Okay. So, this 2, 3, 1, these are the whole numbers. Um, 1 is for the 1's value, 3 for the 10's, 200's. But for decimals, we have here the decimal point. Decimal, we have 0 for the tenths, 1 for the hundredths, 5 for the thousandths. Okay? So when we convert fraction to decimal, we are going to uh, use two methods. First method is by making the denominator um, powers of 10. So that's 10. 100, 1,000, and so on. Meaning, yung denominator, gagawin natin siyang 10. Mag-multiply tayo ng number para maging 10, 100, or 1,000 yung denominator. Example, let's convert 2 over 5 to decimal. Since we have 2 over 5, and the denom we look at the denominator, and yes, we can convert it into 10. Okay? Pwede natin siyang i-convert into 10 by multiplying 2. So, if we multiply 2 to 5, that makes it 10. And so, if we multiply 2 to 5, we must also multiply it to 2 sa taas. Okay? Para balance sila. So, 2 times 2, that's 4. And 5 times 2, that's 10. So, naging 4 over 10 na siya. And so, since we have here 1, 0, okay, isang 0 lang siya, then we are going to move. Yung decimal point ng 4, we are going to move that one place to the left. Okay? One decimal place to the left. So, galing dito ang point, lipat natin siya dito sa kabila. So, therefore, 2 over 5 in decimal is 0 0.4. Okay? This is a period end of a sentence, ha? End of a sentence ito. So, the decimal of 2 over 5 is 0.4. Okay, 0.4, and since walang whole number dito, uh, 0.4 yan, ano, walang whole number dito, nilalagyan natin yan ng 0. Okay, kaya naging 0 0.4. Another examples, um, some more examples. We have number 1, 7 over 10. Okay, well, it's already 10 ang denominator, so madali na lang, di ba? So, imove lang natin ang decimal point ng 7. Dahil isang zero yan is one place, one decimal place to the left. So, that makes it 0.7 or nilalagyan natin ng zero. So, that's 0 0.7. Number two, 13 over 20. Oops, pwede ba natin gawing 100 ang 20? Pwede. Mag-multiply tayo ng 5. Okay? So, kung magmamultiply tayo ng 5 sa 20, ibig sabihin, magmultiply din tayo ng 5 dito sa 13. So, that's 13 over 20 times 5 over 5. So, 20 times 5, so that's 100. And so, 13 times 5, that's 65. So, naging 65 over 100 na siya. 
And so, since we have two zeros here, dalawang zero yan, so we are going to move the decimal point from here to places to the left. Okay? And so, that makes it 0 0.65. How about number 3? 2 over 5. 2 over 15. Pwede ba natin gawing 100 or 1,015? We can't. And so, if we can't, Hindi pwede, di ba? So, kung hindi pwede, then we make use of the second method. Ano yung second method? That's converting fraction to decimal by using the long division method. Okay, long division method. Of course, you have this lesson in grade 5. Okay, and I believe na review din ito ng grade 6. So, there's no question on how to do long division methods. But, kung nalimutan na, Review na lang, okay? Kung paano gawin ang long division. So, um, example, change 2 over 15 to decimal. So, it's like 2 divided by 15. So, yung 2 numerator na sa loob ng division, sim division sim symbol. And so, we have 15 yung divisor natin na sa labas. Okay? So, that's 2 divided by 15. Of course, hindi pwede. So, we add 0. But before we add 0, we need to put a decimal point in between them. Okay, so that makes it 2.0. But we read it as 20. Okay, 20. So 20 divided by 15, it's just ilang 15 sa 20. So that's 1. So we, we put a decimal point here. We align yan. Naka align yan sila, yung dalawang decimal point. And so 20 divided by 15, that's 1. And so, 1 divided by, uh, 1 times 15, that's 15. And so, we subtract 20 minus 15, that's 5. And so, since my 5, my remainder na 5, you add another 0. Okay? Add another 0, bring it down, so magiging 50. So, 50 divided by 15, and that's 3. Okay, merong tatlong 15 sa 50. Okay, so that's 3 di 3 times 15, that's 45. And so, you subtract mo sila, 50 minus 45, that's another 5. Remainder pa rin. Hanggat may remainder class, you have to add 0. Okay? So, add ka na naman ng 0, bring it down. So, yung 5 mo kanina, magiging 50 na siya. Another, fifth, again, 50 divided by 15, that's 3. 3 times 15, that's 45. Minus mo na naman, that's another 5. Oh, add 0 again to make it 50. And so, 50 divided by 15, that's another 3. 3 times 15, that's again 45. Um, I minus mo, that's another 5. Pwede mo siyang i-continue, but if you continue this, notice, na paulit-ulit na lang na 3. Di ba? 3, 3, 3, 3. Kung, kung uh, i-continue mo man yan, yung magiging sagot ay 3 pa rin. So, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. So, meaning to say, this decimal is a repeating this decimal. Repeating. Ibig sabihin pa ulit-ulit na lang. No, pa ulit-ulit yung 3 dito. So, therefore, pwede na tayong mag-stop dito. Okay? Pwede na tayong mag-stop dyan. And so, therefore, 2 over 15 in decimal form is 0 0.13 bar. When we say 1,3 bar, yung 3 bar, ibig sabihin... 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Inuulit yung 3. Hindi kasali yung 1 sa inuulit, ha? Yung 3 lang. Okay? So, again, second method for converting fractions to decimals is by using long division method. Example number 1. Convert 6 over 25 into decimal. Observe that the denominator 25 can be multiplied by 4 to make it 100. Okay, power of 10 yan. So, i-multiply natin si 25 sa 4 at saka yung 6, i-multiply din natin sa 4. Okay? Take note that our goal is to make 25 100. Okay? Gawin natin siyang 100. Kaya nag-multiply tayo ng 4. And so, dahil nag-multiply tayo ng 4 dito, kaya nag-multiply na rin tayo ng 4 sa 6. Okay? Para hindi naman mainggit yung 6. Pantay sila. Right. So, we have 6 times 4, that's 24. And 25 times 4, that's 100. So, madali na lang siya, di ba? We just have to move the decimal point here. 
two places. Bakit two places? Kasi dalawang zero. Dalawang zero. So, the answer is 0.24. Or, we add zero here. Okay? Uh, kasi walang whole number value. So, that's 0 0.24. So, therefore, 6 over 25 is 0 0.24 in decimal form. Next example, convert 14 and 5 over 12 in decimal form. Notice we have here um, a mixed fraction. Okay? So, my whole number tayong 14 at saka may fraction of 5 over 12. So, ang gagawin natin dito, ang i-convert lang natin into fraction ay yung 5 over 12 lang. Tapos, idadagdag lang natin si 14 sa final answer. Okay? So, Observe that the denominator is not divisible by a power of 10. Itong 12, hindi natin siya pwedeng gawing, uh, wala tayong pwedeng ma-multiply ma sa 12 na integer para maging 100 or 1,000 or 10,000. Okay, so therefore, we use long division for this. So, 5 over 12, that's 5 divided by 12. Okay, 5 divided by 12, just like this one. So, 5 divided by 12 can, cannot be. So, we add a decimal point and we add 0 here. Okay, we add 0. So, magiging 50 na siya. So, 50 divided by 12. Ilang 12 sa 50? 5 lang, di ba? 5 lang kasi uh, kapag ka anim na yun, magiging 6. Ah, I'm sorry, 4 lang kasi pag 5 na yan, magiging 60 na. So, that's 4 here. Okay? So, continuing this, we have here. So, 50, 4, ayan. 4 times 12, that's 48. So, 50 minus 48, that's 2. Oops, my remainder pa. So, you need to add 0. And so, bring down 0 here para maging 20. Okay? So, 20 divided by 12, that's 1. 1 times uh, 12, that's 12. And the next step is, you subtract, and that's 8. Oops, my rem remainder pa. You add another 0, and so, bring down 0. And let's continue. So, we have, okay, so we have this one. So, dito na tayo, 8, di ba nag-bring down tayo ng 0 dyan. So, 80 divided by 12 is 6. 6 times 12, that's 72. Okay, minus yan, 8 pa rin. So, you add another 0. Bring down 0, mura maging 80. 80 divided by 12, that's another 6. 6 divided by, uh, 6 times 12, that's 72. Subtract, and that's 8. And so, pwede tayo mag-add ng another 0, and we continue. But if we continue that, we know that the answer is still 6. So, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, so repeating na siya. Okay? So, in this case, pwede na tayong mag-stop. And lagyan na natin yung bar ang 6. Ibig sabihin, paulit-ulit na lang siyang 6. Therefore, yun. Therefore, 14 and 5 over 12 in decimal form is 14.416 bar. Okay? Notice, yung 5 over 12 lang naman ang kinonvert natin into decimal, di ba? Ito siya, o, oh, 0.416 bar. And dinagdag lang natin si 14. Okay? Dinagdag lang natin si 14 dito. So, that's 14.416 uh, 14 bar. So, individual practice. It's your turn to try if you know how to answer it already. So, you can pause this video and try it yourself. So, after that, you can play, um, you can, you can play it again. And uh, check your answers, kung tama ba o hindi. Okay? So, you can go ahead and pause this video and answer it now. Alright, I believe you are already done solving um, the individual practice. So, let's go ahead and check your answers. Number 1, um, negative 5 and 3 fourth converted into decimal form. So, pwede natin st stay put ng negative 5 and um, convert just 3 fourth. Okay? And so, we have 3 fourth. Of course, yung 4, pwede natin yung gawin 100. I-multiply lang natin sa 25. So, kaya okay, we have 4 times 25. And so, yung 3, multiply din natin sa 25. Pareho sila. So, 3 times 25, that's 75. And 4 times 25, that's 100. 
So, dalawang zero yan, kaya i-move natin ng dalawang places. So, we have 0 0.75 is the decimal form of um, 3 fourth. 3 fourth pa lang yan ha, yung 3 fourth. So, therefore, i-affix natin or ilagay na natin yung negative 5. So, magiging negative 5, negative 5.75. Okay, so the 0 0.75, nilagay lang natin yung negative 5 chan. So, negative 5.75. Now, number 2, number 2 ito. Okay, number 2, Becky lives between Rina and Rose. Rina's house is 3.28 kilometers from Becky. Rose lives 3 and 2 fifth kilometers from Becky. Who lives nearer to Becky? Okay, sino dong mas malapit kay Becky? Okay. So, we need to convert 3.22 over 5. So, with that, um, ang i-convert lang natin, of course, yung 2 over 5. So, 2 over 5, take note, pwede nating gawing 10 ang 5. Okay? Gawin natin 10 ang 5. So, that's 2 over 5 times 2. Para maging 5 times 2, magiging 10. So, i-multiply din natin yung 2 sa 2. Pareho sila, no? So, 2 times 2, that's 4. 5 times 2, that's 10. So, 4 over 10. So, isang zero lang yan. So, one place lang to the left. Right? So, that's 0 0.4. Take note, that's just 2 over 5. So, we need to affix 3 here. Okay? So, magiging um, 3 and three and 2 fifth magiging 3.4. So, sino nga yung mas malapit? Yung 3.28 or yung 3.4? Of course, mas malapit yung 3.28. Diba? So, therefore, sinong... Uh, sino nakatira mas malapit kay Becky? Edi si Rina. Right? So, therefore, Rina lives nearer to Becky. Alright? So, I want you to um, solve this in your notebook. Let's practice. Letter A, convert each of the following fractions into decimal by making the denominator a power of 10. Okay? So, copy and answer in your notebook. So, meaning... Yung method number 1, yung 5 going um, power of 10. Ano ba yan? So, going 10, C8, si uh, powers of 10. Um, you uh, find it out kung pwede ba siya maging 10, pwede maging 100, or pwede maging 1,000. Ang 2, of course, ano ba siya pwede maging 10, pwede maging 100, or pwede maging 1,000. Pwede siya maging 10, edi 10. Okay? So, yung 50, ano ba siya? Pwede ba siya maging 100 or 1,000? Alright? So, use method 1 for letter A. And uh, for letter B, um, use method 2. Convert of the following fractions. Convert the following fractions into decimal by up to 4 decimal places using long division method. Okay? And so, that's it for uh, converting fractions to decimals.